All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to eight to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite four as two squared. So I have two to the power of x plus two squared to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And this is also equal to a to the power of m times n. So right here, we have two to the power of two to the power of x, and I can switch to an x. So this is the same thing as two to the power of x to the power of two. And two to the power of three to the power of x, I can switch x and three. So this is gonna equal two to the power of x to the power of three. Now I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to y. So now I have y plus y squared is equal to y to the power of three. And now to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as y to the power of three minus y squared minus y is equal to zero. And I'm gonna factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So this gives me two equations. I get y equals zero and I get y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So y equals zero is already a solution. And for y squared minus y minus one equals zero, if you use the quadratic form and solve that, you get y equals one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So now remember how we let two to the power of x equal to y. So first off, we have two to the power of x equals zero, and you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to zero, so there's no solution for this. Now we have two to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two, and two to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. So first off, one minus the square root of five is negative, and the negative number divided by two is still negative. You can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative, so there's no solution for that. So the only solution that we can find is two to the power of x equals one plus square root of five. And to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. And I get x is equal to log of one plus square root of five over two, over log two, sorry. All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus three is equal to 130. So to solve this, first off, if I have something in form a to the power of m times n, or sorry, a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So four to the power of x plus three, that's gonna equal four to the power of x times four to the power of three, which is equal to 130. And now, if I factor out four to the power of x, I get four to the power of x times one plus four to the power of three is equal to 130. And four to the power of three, that's gonna equal 64. So I have four to the power of x times one plus 64 is equal to 130. And one plus 64 is 65. So I have four to the power of x times 65 is equal to 130. And now if I divide both sides by 65, I get four to the power of x is equal to two. And from here, to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite four as two squared. So I have two squared to the power of x 
is equal to 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2x, is equal to 2. And 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So I get 2x is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So now, to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 130. So 4 to the power of x, well, 4 to the power of 1 half is 2. So I have 4 to the power of 1 half plus 4 to the power of 1 half plus 3 is equal to 130. 4 to the power of 1 half plus 3 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 5 over 2. Actually, sorry, this is supposed to be 7 over 2. And 4 to the power of 7 over 2 is 128. Sorry, 2 to the power of 128 is 130. And I get 130 is equal to 130. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x plus 1 is equal to x. So to solve this, I'm going to start by subtracting x on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x to the power of x plus 1 minus x is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So x to the power of x plus 1, this is going to be equal to x to the power of x times x to the power of 1. Now I have this minus x is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I have x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x equals 0. This is already a solution. Now for x to the power of x minus 1 equals 0, I'm going to add 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, Because x has to be the same number, we obviously know that, well, what number to the power of self is equal to 1? That's going to be 1, right? Because 1 to the power of 1 is equal to self. So x is equal to 1. And there's no, actually, there's no other number that, when you take the power of itself, is going to equal 1, S meaning x equals 1 is the only solution to this equation. So now to check, the original equation was x to the power of x plus 1 is equal to x. So x to the power of x plus 1 is equal to x. And our first solution was 0. So if I plug in 0, I get 0 to the power of 0 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, 0 plus 1 is 1, so I have 0 power to the power of 1 equals 0, and 0 to the power of any number is itself, so I get 0 equals 0. Now, to check for 1, I get 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1, and 1 to the power of any number itself, so 1 equals 1. 